So we've all got that one guitar that's just kind of special. Sometimes it's because it's our first guitar, sometimes it's because it was given to us by someone special, sometimes it's just because of the way it plays. Well, this one is not my first guitar, but a local musician and friend of mine, Bradley Matthews here in Wyoming. This is his first guitar given to him by his grandpa. We've done some modifications and some upgrades on it, and I wanna share with you guys what those are and why. Welcome to the channel, my name is Jordan. Thank you so much for watching. So, about the guitar, this is a Trinity River, obviously a Telecaster style with an American flag. I used to see these on eBay for right around $100. Um, like I said, Bradley Matthews, a local uh, musician and friend of mine, his grandpa bought him this. It was his first guitar, I believe his first guitar, and it's, it's just special to him. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about possibly doing some modifications. I said, hey, if you ever want to change anything on that, let me know and I'll do it for you because I enjoy doing modifications and upgrades on guitars. It's a lot of fun for me. So the modifications that we did, we started out with Seymour Duncan pickups. It came down to between the Broadcaster pickups or the Hot Telly. We went with the Hot Telly. He was kind of leaning towards those because they're obviously a little bit hotter than Broadcaster, a little more modern sounding, probably handle overdrive just slightly better. Um, but I had not experienced them yet. I'll do a full review of these when I get done shooting this video and I'll post it a couple days after this video that you're watching right now goes live. But that'll be a little bit later. Uh, the next thing we did, I talked him into a 920D wiring harness so that everything was pre-soldered, making my job a lot easier, but also ensuring that all the components were high quality and that they were soldered together correctly from the factory because 920D has a good reputation. After that, we changed the entire bridge and put brass saddles on it, which were a big upgrade from the steel ones that were on there. And uh, all around, it sounds pretty good. It sounds like a telly should. It does not sound like a custom shop. I'm not gonna make that, or I should say, I am going to make that distinction. I have played Bradley's custom shop Telecaster, and it sounds way better than this one, but this does sound really good. It does definitely sound at least as good as a Mexican-made telly or entry-level American-made tellies. So I would say that without any reservation. The switch, the 920D switch, nice and crisp, three-way, regular tone, volume, um, bridge pickup all the way down, neck pickup all the way forward. Um, I've got the neck pickup down a little bit just to give it a little bit cleaner sound and the bridge pickup up just a little bit. I might raise, um, I might lower the bass side and raise the treble a little bit because I'm having trouble with getting too much bass and uh, not enough treble for these Telecaster pickups. With that, let's do the sound samples. So I've got my Boss Katana Mark II set up over here on a clean channel with the 50 watt yeah, 50 watt mode right now. A little bit of delay. Um, I turned off the reverb just because of where I'm shooting already has tons of natural reverb. And I actually wish it had a lot less, especially for my voice, um, just with the way it's echoing in here. But the guitar has plenty. There is no boost and nothing else, no other effects on it at the moment. So we're gonna start in bridge pickup because that's what you guys all came to see. Like I say, clean channel, 50 watts. Neck position. 
losses in a few. A flag that's flying halfway down the pole. Jim crying the night. might need some slight adjusting just to get them to the exact right, height, right heights for what Bradley wants um, because this guitar is not set up for me it's set up for him um, if you get better pickups or when I should say you get better pickups for a guitar like this make sure that you get good wiring okay make sure that if you wire up every piece individually that all your soldering connections are really well done and really good connections make sure you use higher quality components. If your switch is bad, even if your pots are great and your capacitor is great, it's still gonna mess up the signal coming from your pickups and it will still mess up the tone of your guitar and probably give you more feedback running through an amplifier than otherwise you would have. Same thing with the pots. Even if you have a good switch, if your pots are bad and if your capacitor is bad, it's still gonna hurt your tone in the long run. So if you're gonna upgrade pickups, make sure you upgrade those components. Also, one other thing that you might not think about is the output jack. The one that came with this 920D harness is amazing. Just to demonstrate. So that was out. That's back in a good solid snap. This thing doesn't really wiggle. I mean, it wiggles just a little bit, but it doesn't pull in and out just slightly. Um, a lot of the cheaper output jacks that I've used in the past, you can wiggle them around. You can kind of pull them halfway in and out and they give a bad signal and send it to the amplifier with a lot of extra feedback. So really important, you might not think of that right off the bat. Other than that, this guitar is ready to go. And if you have a beginner guitar that you are wanting to upgrade, yours can be too. And uh, it just takes a little time, a little bit of YouTube knowledge and you can do it yourself. I wanna say thank you guys for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, please give this thing a thumbs up and please hit subscribe. I'm trying to get my channel to a thousand subscribers right now. And I would appreciate it if you would be there when we make it. Thank you guys, we'll see you later.